So you got to go to your local Social Security office. Well, this is Ed Weir, a retired district manager of the Social Security Administration. We help people throughout the country with all things Social Security, Medicare, uh, Obamacare. I ran the third busiest Social Security Administration office in the country, recently retired. Now I'm helping people out. But uh, we had several thousand people uh, come into our office on a, on a daily basis and call. And uh, it was always fun. All right. So before you go. Here's uh, things you have to watch out for. Number one, should you even go? If you are just looking for a social security card or something, you need to go online to ssa.gov and click on the, uh, this section right here. And a lot of states, uh, social security just implemented a great program in the last few years um, where they coordinated with the states to issue social security card. So if you have a valid driver's license or an ID from your state, that's all state specific, um, then you just might be able to get your replacement uh, social security card online and you don't have to go anywhere. So basically what happens is you put all the information in and if it matches the state database, security will send you out your social security card in, uh, in a couple of weeks. It's a, it's a beautiful thing been rolling it out uh, um, on a continuing basis and uh, pretty much all the states um, have uh, have jumped on. All right, so that, uh, that'll save you a trip. Um, if you're looking for a to file a new claim for retirement or disability or survivor benefits, um, check out online, Social Security, uh, the retirement and disability application online. It's pretty uh, relatively easy. Make sure you check out my videos. I'll put the um, how to file for retirement, how to file for uh, Medicare at the end of this video. Um, it'll walk you through the entire process. So you don't necessarily have to go down. You can do it in the comfort of your home. Um, if you're looking for anything other than an initial claim, what do we call Social Security, uh, a PE, a PE, a, a, PE, a post entitlement issue. Um, some offices have PE appointments, but most don't. They're just not that efficient because so many people just don't show up. Um, if you have, if you're, so if you're currently receiving social security benefits, survivor benefits, disability benefits, and you have, you know, a, a change of address or you have to drop something off or, you know, whatever the case may be, um, there is no appointments. There are no appointments for that you actually have to go in or you can mail your documents. If you, go, if you go in, make sure when you hand anything to a social security employee, make sure they make a copy of it and stamp it and initial off that they actually received it. And that way, if it's ever lost, then you can you know, make the case that you did provide that information. All right. So if you have uh, that type of issue, you know, call the 1-800 number first and see if you can address the issue over the phone. Phone the local Social Security office. Uh, most of those office phone numbers are no longer published. They want you to call the 800 number. So there's that. Um, but um, so the, the, the priority is try online, um, call the 800 number um, call the, the local office. And if push comes to shove, then I guess you got to go into the local office never, ever go on a Monday or never, ever, ever go on a day after a holiday. So like uh, if Monday's a holiday or Friday's a holiday. Don't go the next day, um, that the office is open. And the, the, the morning line, this is what my office, the morning line in my office look like on a daily basis. We were, exceptionally efficient. Um, that line, we would be able to get all those people in and start getting their issues addressed in about 15 minutes. So we were pretty good. We had a really, really good system in our, in our particular office. Um, I don't know about your local office, but our office was pretty much spot on. Um, consider if you have an in-office appointment, then go to the local office, at that particular time, usually uh, about 15 minutes early. And if there's a line, you don't have to wait in line, go immediately to the front of the line and there should be a security guard there. And uh, the security guard cannot answer questions. They don't work for social security. They are contracted uh, federal protective services. So it's a private contract company. So they shouldn't be providing any social security type of answers. They can you know, uh, make sure you get in line and everything like that, but uh, they're not social security employees. 
um, but go to the front of the line if you have an appointment and tell the security guard that you have a you know, two o'clock appointment and they will go ahead and bring you in and get you all checked in, okay? If you don't have an appointment, then unfortunately you'll, you'll have to wait in line, um, but make sure you get all your documents. Uh, Social Security does not accept copies of documents, so it has to be the original document, original birth certificate, original marriage certificate, original divorce decree, stamped, a uh, little embossing if it has it. Um, you hand whatever you're required, you hand that to the Social Security employee, they will make the copy and certify its original copy and then hand your originals back to you. The people at the windows, all offices are a little bit different, but in general, the people at the windows, the employees at the window are called uh, CSRs, customer service representatives. And they are the hardest working people in all of Social Security. Social Security has over 65,000 employees, and these are the hardest working and unfortunately also pretty much the lowest paid. Um, and so please, please be nice to uh, customer service representatives. Uh, they're, uh, it's, it's a tough, tough job. And, um, so they can handle, they don't take claims, they just handle... Uh, the post entitlement type issues, uh, change of address, uh, you know, uh, talking about overpayments and uh, helping you navigate the system. So actually you need to file a application, a claim for retirement benefits, disability benefits, uh, SSI, um, survivor benefits. Then the person that will help you is called a CS, a claim specialist. And there's two different areas. There are Title II and Title 16. I'm giving you all kinds of insight information here. So the Title II, the Title II of the Social Security Act is retirement survivor benefits and uh, disability insurance. And then you have SSI, also called Title 16, which is Title 16 of the Social Security Act. And that's the one that was started in early 1970s. Uh, Social Security took over from many of the states, basically, basically the, the federal welfare program, supplemental security income, as they call it. So um, if you're just there to file a retirement application, then you will talk to a Title II CS. I personally was a Title II CS when I first started with Social Security Administration. So I've taken thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, claims. Um, and they will adjudicate, they will take your claim and uh, adjudicate it, process it and get your money. Um, if you have an issue with any of the employees, so you have the CSRs, the customer service representatives in the front windows to tax, actually take claims, you have the claim specialists, and then above and beyond them, you have what's called the operation supervisor. So there's an operation supervisor, probably depending on the size of the office, um, for the, 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 claim, uh, the claim specialists, one for the customer service representatives, um, and so if you've got an issue with any of them, you ask to see an operation supervisor and hopefully they can address your issue. Above the operation supervisor, then there are, again, this depends on the size of the office, you have uh, assistant district manager, and then above them is the actual district manager of the office. And then above the district manager of the office, again, if you still have issues, you still have a complaint or anything like that, they have the area director, which is somewhere in that particular area it might be in the next state or something um, and then more information that you probably want to know um, above the area direct director um, you have the regional commissioner and there's uh, only a few handful of those throughout the country and then obviously the commissioner of social security and then um, if uh, uh, you've got real issues one of the things that uh, if you just can't get your issue resolved you can reach out to your local federal politicians, congressmen, senators, and uh, you can say, hey, I'm not getting um, um, justice. I'm not getting my issue addressed from the local Social Security office or the IRS or any other federal agency. And the, uh, the representative, the political representative will send you a form uh, authorizing that you authorize them to speak on your behalf and you fill out that form and sign it. And essentially all they do is they, you, you, make, you make your case, you say, okay, I'm, I'm not getting X, Y, or Z addressed. And you write that down and they just forward it to, in this case, the Social Security Administration. And in Social Security Administration, we call this congressional. And these are addressed immediately, if not sooner. 
um, because I guess Social Security gets their funding from Congress and from those representatives. So I guess we have to play nice. Um, and uh, so we have to respond to those immediately, if not sooner, and say, you know, maybe reach out to you and, you know, explain the situation or try to resolve the, uh, the situation. And then we have to report back to that congressional representative that uh, we did, in fact, address that issue. So that's uh, perhaps more information than you wanted to know about your local Social Security office. Um, but if uh, you need help navigating Social Security, Medicare, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, make sure you uh, reach out to us. Our help is always free. And subscribe and uh, like and all that YouTube type stuff. And that way this video goes out to more people. All right. Have a beautiful day.